from the depth instant tutorial. Today we're gonna make the most efficient fuel engine. Go into fuel engines, fuel engine generator, place one down face upwards, one, two, three crankshafts, and then we have a cylinder on top. On this cylinder we're going to have a carburetor, there, and then we're going to angle them outwards on carburetors on all directions like this. Now we're gonna go with superchargers. And the superchargers should be aligned like, it doesn't matter. But we should place them at every possible location we can place one. Which uh, includes, of course, below it, like there. And there we go, it's very connected up. Now we need to get some cooling going on here, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go with radiators because we don't have anywhere to place down any type of uh, any type of exhausts. And we need to utilize some smart tricks like that to fit more of them and then we should get some nice cooling going on here. Now we're just going to use this uh, scrambler to make it use a lot of power. And then we can check this engine's little stats here. We can see we have a power per material and it's decreasing because this engine runs more efficiently at uh, lower RPMs. And if we go into the engine here, you can see that we have stats and we have stable output and we have power per material. The most efficient engine possible has the highest power per material ratio possible. So what we basically do is we need to drag down the maximum RPM. We should at least have it by the half. But uh, if we can get, or get away with generating even lower power, we can decrease it to uh, 20%. If we can get away with 20% like this, we'll have a very efficient engine indeed. And since it's limited, we should also set the priority to the maximum, because we want this thing to generate all the power we need if uh, we can get away with that. The engine is also more efficient the cooler it is, so we can uh, continue filling in some smart radiator Tetris, and this makes it quite cool. Power per material is 1300, so that is quite nice indeed. We only have stable power of 316, but well, that's something. And it uh, only costs us uh, 0.25 materials per second. So every 4 seconds we have used one material. A good deal to me. Well, this is the engine for you if you want to be really cheap. So have fun with saving those materials, and I'll see you next time. This is Jimidism, signing out.